Hello friends, welcome back. We have been talking on public relations. We have talked about cause related marketing and communication. We have talked about other elements supporting integrated marketing communication and specifically data based marketing communication. Now, I would be taking that thing further with an element of digital advertising. That is not the same that was related with generating database and utilizing it for communicating with the customers directly while understanding their profile and so on. But that becomes useful and important when we talk of digital advertising. Whole of the world is digital now and I would not go into technical definition of what digital is. Just serve for that, just read some books and probably you, uh, many of you have been doing or would have done some courses related to digital, you know, expressing information in terms of symbols and codes. So, but how advertising communication is related with being digital, let us see. You see, digital, we, we definitely must look into some definitions and digital, you see, is defined as a participatory layer of all media that allows users to self-select their own experiences and affords marketers the ability to bridge media, gain feedback, iterate their message and collect relationships. How do we summarize this? Interaction. So, digital advertising and communication is all about interaction. Now, you see, it is a way of exploring content, ideas for users and connecting with and understanding customers in terms of marketers. It is all, you know, happening at the same time because despite of the fact that digital communication is based on, you know, devices wherein you put up a communication which reaches to many, but you can customize, customize that communication to the tune to the level of an individual customer as well. And you can generate a response then and there as well. There are very specific aspects of digital advertising and communication, how people are working on that, how organizations are looking into it. We will be using some examples to elaborate upon that. Let us see it sequentially. But before that, what is best about digital advertising? You see, it is nearly precise as I said in locating customers and is almost measurable. Means, if you have a mechanism where you can generate response then and there, then definitely it becomes measurable and you can associate the impact with uh, you know the sales or the objective of the advertising. Now, there are elements associated with digital advertising and they have been codified or expressed as web 1.0, web 2.0, web 3.0, web 4.0 and I do not know how many you know further would come. But just to categorize historically that how it happened, web 1.0 means static content provided by a site's creator and you see here sites were simple and designed to accomplish one specific function wherein you see you go to that site and you get that kind of a particular information. 2.0 came up further with you know wherein content became more socially oriented and you know audience oriented wherein social networking uh, such as you know uh, through uh, platforms like uh, Facebook, MySpace, they emerged. Obviously, when, when you see you had such kind of an advantage wherein people started networking with each other and you are using a platform, you, you are using an organizational platform. So, definitely advertising and communication is inevitable because you are actually communicating at this moment and if you infuse an organizational communication altogether at that particular moment, you are, it is a win-win situation for all. So, people started writing blogs and then you see e-commerce expanded and consumers began purchasing products online. Sites became more appealing 
and customer focused as competition drove web designers to create customer friendly experiences. Customer friendly experiences means so customer started coming near to the information and customer started getting involved as far as the information generation process, information usage process and, and everything goes the, the whole whole chain basically. And then or, or, or you may uh, add one more thing here basically customer started relying more on web based information wherein he started looking forward to that he can access information he desires for through web and that is where web 2.0 became stronger in terms of as compared to web, web 1.0 and, and not to mention technology, uh, hardware, everything was developing in due course of time. So, web 3.0 wherein integration, online metrics, real time, instant communication started coming up wherein, wherein you are interacting you know and, and that particular interaction is being supported, guided, monitored, responded to and so on. And you know content on sites started becoming metric driven, customer engage, engagement became stronger, cloud operations came in and web participation started coming up. Just to simplify in, in today's parallels almost what we are doing today you know web 3.0 became the enabler or the situation uh, recognizes that wherein we became more apt to the technological usage, the digital usage which we are going through at this particular moment. How many a times you look at your mobile phones for surfing for things which you need in today's uh, you know era? How many times you actually have to deliberately tell you that I should be looking about this thing on a mobile phone? Usually not. Now you are more apt as soon as something comes to your mind you just go to your mobile phone you look for that product and look for that message there and that is where web 4.0 came in wherein you see this uh, transition to web 4.0 affected the field of marketing communication at, uh, at large and today is the era which actually you know justifies this statement wherein you see many companies they have started slashing the traditional media marketing budgets and move to funds to online communications. Here we must remember that digital marketing communication had a complementary role in terms of uh, integrated marketing communication alongside other options or media. For example, digital marketing communication was having a supportive role to print media or uh, you know. Uh, static holdings even basically at, at some point of time when people used to watch an advertisement on TV and then on print and then somewhere on holding and uh, listen to some uh, you know message on radio and then started looking for that thing on websites. Today I would not say that situation has reversed but uh, many organizations they have started deviating their energies towards internet basically because internet usage has become vast and then device devices connected to internet has also increased in number and that we will see in terms of statistics in later uh, part of the discussion. But that is how things have started coming up. Many marketing experts believe that online searches, email, social media, conversations, digital ads and mobile marketing will soon constitute a significant portion of the marketing expenditure people would say that everything else would become obsolete. I personally do not agree to that but still it is holding a very large prominent position and, and uh, I would not take you into the statistics of what is happening currently you can just go to the sources like Statista and uh, other sources wherein you would find that what is the portion. Last time I showed you one of uh, you know uh, the graphs wherein uh, you know television advertising is reducing but still holds a very prominent position as far as Indian market space goes although India is one of those places where an internet you know acceptance is very high. So and, and I have not specifically used the word penetration market uh, because uh, my individual belief as a marketing scholar is that people accept things rather than being penetrated with the effort kind of. So there can be a difference of opinion but this is just for uh, your, your uh, perspective. So 
the tradition from web 1.0 to web 4.0 changed the ways consumer communicate and interact today it's a completely interactive kind of a system so how many types of media are there in digital age there you know there can be several categorizations but broader categorization is uh, into three parts one is paid media one is owned media and then one is earned media or, or you may you may look at it and some some uh, literature might uh, give different uh, specific terminology to these three categorizations as well but just this is just for our understanding wherein paid media you know uh, is related to organizations paying other sites to display their ads on their properties it is same as its uh, you know physical kind of a thing and and here i would say one thing before going ahead technically speaking there is a huge difference between as far as you know uh, conventional marketing communication and digital communication wherein uh, everything is happening through devices by using the services and internet services of different organizations but conceptually it is almost similar whatever we were doing through different modes or physically now it is being done through digital modes basically so the conceptual understanding has to be on the similar grounds there are measurement criteria associated with this type of communication as well there is uh, you know uh, there is a modeling perspective associated with this that as well there is a research perspective with this as well and and this holds true for almost every form of marketing communication which we have been talking of up till now remember we have discussed the similar kind of an element with data based marketing also we have talked about you know public relations as well so so similar aspects have been associated with different modes and then the integration between different modes that is the mainstay of as far as our uh, discussion uh, in this course so here as i said you know you utilize someone else's property or services for displaying your advertisement so they are managing and maintaining the websites or or uh, whichever way you know they are holding the hardware and software and services and they are communicating with your consumers with your advertisements they they might be uh, contacting your target because of some reason or they might be just aggregators or they might be the service providers as such and then there is an other element of uh, you know paid media wherein you see uh, what what Uh, how do we look at it so we can look at social media websites blogs publications and and wherein you can pay them to display your advertisements remember we pay our uh, newspapers to display our advertisements we pay television to display our advertisements or to release our advertisements and so on so similar is with as far as digital media goes and you see this helps target and uh, helps in Uh, reaching to the target as compared to now more efficiently as compared to others and reach the new users as well and we have been talking about we have discussed this earlier as well communication is more about reach at first and then about persuasion and then getting the results then comes in owned media owned and op this is you know uh, related to owned and being operated on one's own business channels so one has their own facilities for releasing the messages for the consumers they have their own websites blogs emailers forums social media etc very lar large organizations they uh, have their own blog writers they have their own you know interactive websites and and uh, you see it's it's very interesting for example you go to the website of nike and you would realize that it's a whole lot of a different kind of a world you can spend lots of time on that looking for different models different shapes in in terms of footwear and different forms of apparels and so on and and uh, you see you you can keep on surfing and traversing through you know uh, one uh, model of shoe or uh, footwear to another and so on and and uh, at one part of time then you have queries and uh, your queries would be answered through through chat box 
or or uh, through emails and then you can extend that to some other form of communication as well and then if you leave your details and even if you don't leave your details they will start contacting you because by that time they would have noticed that who you are and from what kind of uh, you know location or let's say uh, ip address you are uh, talking to them so so they will start putting up you know their messages uh, through to you so the, it's it's whole you know uh, mesmerizing kind of a situation now sometimes intruding also and i'll talk about these kind of things in when we will discuss ethics so then you see own media is also related to full control to modify ads as we go along because there you have that scope for doing that in in paid media you have given the content to someone and then that is how it is released then comes in earned media wherein you see organic publicity without purchasing ad space is done and you see press mentions are there social media recognition is there interviews guest posts podcasts and and uh, you know several other modes are there and and this we will know how how it is done uh, you know specifically but this has a difference of as far as when you spend money on owning a particular media when you pay for that media or when you actually put up you know publicity without purchasing the ad space and this has definitely to do something with credibility and trust and you know it it amplifies the reach as well as i told you last time as well because uh, you know when we were talking of publicity and i mentioned specifically when someone else mentions about your products and your services and your organization it has a different connotation associated with your credibility because people know that you have not paid for that so that definitely you know earned media or, or this specific mode wherein organic publicity is done it holds a different kind of a credibility now there are different forms of or let's say types of digital advertising and and again there is a you know natural categorization around it how it evolved as uh you know the forms they progress themselves or they evolved in due course of time so as the categorization has come up one is related to search and what is uh, you know what are the elements related to search one is search engine optimization for example seo pay per click again you see you have to have a measurement unit on generating revenue for the organization or uh to ask for a price from the customer so pay per click kind of a thing basically content creation is also uh, there associated with as far as search type of digital advertising then there are display ads wherein videos images and whole lot of you know as far as uh, display content is utilized and and we have talked about is the lots of creativity and those kind of elements are Uh, associated although creativity is again one of the most important elements in terms of digital advertising and digital uh, uh, communication wherein you have to be creative in not only in terms of defining generating the content or message you have to be creative in terms of reaching out to the customers and you have to be creative in terms of how often customer would uh, you know get your message so you have to be creative in terms of and we'll talk about this you know keywords and those kind of things there is a specific strategy associated with that and and when we specifically talk about videos and uh, you know images you have to be uh, more creative because here you have a very specific constraint of the space and attention as well because remember in digital communication the customer is actually looking for something else and you have to complement either that thing or you have to actually you know bypass that thing or you have to reach to the customer somehow or gain the attention of the customer your target customer so that is where lots of creativity has to come in then the third element of as far as you know there is an influencer type of digital advertising wherein uh, both offline and online perspective is there and then social media you see today social media has a synonymity with as far as digital advertising although i will be talking about social media separately and with specific aspect because this has become so vast and as, as i said types and categorization 
they get prominence in due course of time when they get evolved and that is how social media has become you know more prominent and so prominent that we look at digital advertising with reference to social media thanks to facebook instagram linkedin twitter pinterest and so on and you see facebook has been uh, you know a part of several people's life actually people say that facebook has been instrumental in changing people's life and they they go for several kinds of narratives associated with facebook and and how they are you know and, and some people have stories related to getting associated with different kinds of friends and i should not be repeating all those things we all know that you know it it's an imbibed part of our lives instagram for example you know so they have different orientations hence they have different kinds of positioning and they have different kind of usage and once you have different kind of a positioning and usage different kind of perspective can be carried forward by all these modes in due course of time and different kind of creativity can be involved for reaching the target customer through these kind of modes we'll be talking about this in in later part of the discussions and in the meanwhile start noticing start noticing how it is working around you start noticing how it actually is influencing your buying decisions start noticing that is it comparatively working more as compared to other forms of media which uh, you know uh, is in your uh, proximity or it is just complementing that so decide for yourself there is whole lot of statistics and data which is guiding you there is uh, you know uh, methodical elements which we are discussing in due course of time and time and again i am reminding you of the uh, independent strength of all the modes we are discussing and then the integrative strength of all the modes with, which we are discussing but at the end you have to decide in terms of how it is working for you is it actually reshaping the complete market i attended a wonderful lecture by one of my friends recently and he uh, sort of projected that how market is re, is getting reshaped uh, you know because of the presence of such kind of communication modes uh, in due course of time uh, can we definitely can we can we think of recategorizing the types of customers uh, because of uh, availability of the modes of communication it's an intriguing thought but definitely worth pursuing that and i i do believe that you should do that here comes search advertising and you see search advertising basically is related to paid search and it's also known as sponsored ads search marketing search engine marketing pay per click marketing i've just mentioned that earlier and and, uh, and cost per click marketing as far as you know the customer and the marketer thing goes basically and this is a technique that displays ads in search engine results whenever someone searches for services or products offered by the advertiser so it it emerges in front of you there is there is a perspective uh, you know associated with uh, when should a particular ad emerge and then there is a whole lot of a methodology and algorithm uh, algorithmic thought which is associated with this so uh, we'll be you know talking about that but just you know think of that 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 someone is paying for that ad to emerge whenever a customer is looking for some associated information or a particular kind of a product with which this message is related to pay per click are those ads that appear on a publishers or media owner site but the advertiser is charged only when user clicks on it makes sense makes sense because you see when you say that uh, i want to generate revenue out of uh, the ads which i would be displaying for you the organization would say why should i pay you because i don't know that if people would at all be noticing that how would i uh, should i go every time and talk to my customers that you are purchasing this product because of my digital message or you are purchasing this product because of my tv message and you see here again this kind of a methodology probably would have come in front of uh, us because at that particular time television and uh, newspaper and other kinds of modes would have been prominent wherein we have we would have developed 
you know research based methodologies around measuring their impact. But here we would not have uh, developed that till then and somehow we required a model. So, so we focused upon and, and uh, you know uh, on a negotiable mutually beneficial kind of an arrangement wherein customer would click and you have to pay. You see these ads appear on search engine results pages almost like you know a native ad at the top with an indication that it is an advertisement there, there is a particular message or, or a AD kind of a thing written alongside. And you see they also appear on websites and blogs on the top left or right panel or even at the intervals within the content itself. Paper impression ads are charged each time your ad is displayed on a site irrespective of interaction or being clicked upon. And they are usually charged per 1000 impressions also known as you know CPM as mentioned above. And you see pay per impression ads can be cost effective if your ad gets clicked on in addition to simply receiving an impression when compared to CPC ad prices and so on. Again as I said pay per click to pay per impression it is it's a progression of our uh, you know uh, methodologies in due course of time when the media is becoming prominent. Now we reach to the point of discussion on search engine optimization. I would be elaborating upon this uh, in, in due course of time, but just you know uh, just to uh, give you a larger view, you have you visited an old bookstore uh, in your city wherein the owner of the bookshop is a very learned person and he has almost read all the authors of his shop you know the, the books he has in his shop. He knows almost about all the kinds of books basically he sells, he knows the characteristics of the authors. You see I am, I am uh, not talking hypothetically you would uh, if you will search for you would find such kind of places wherein you would be finding uh, very learned booksellers. And they know you know what kind of an orientation a book carries, what kind of uh, thoughts you would find in one kind of a book and, and uh, what you would find and where you would find and uh, every single detail sort of. That kind of an information when you when you go to a particular kind of a question you know with, with a particular kind of a question to that bookshop and ask the bookseller that I want this subject, this kind of a content this is precisely what I am looking for or vaguely I am looking for this kind of a narrative you see you, you have given some categorization to him and he says okay pick up that book you know and look into that chapter and you would find more or less what you are looking for. This is wherein you know optimization perspective comes in and this is what search engine optimization largely is. I would be talking about search engine optimization methodically and precisely in our next session. Till then, goodbye.